hear me? Yes, be ready. Go ahead. Be cop, okay. pumpkin. All right. Sorry, it's the, it's the connection. Uh, I just wanted to say 2015 was a great time to be on the internet. And what do you think of Baked Alaska? Oh, God, oh, yes. I feel sorry for him. He's just, look, he's a former addict. So he's a former cokehead and a former alcoholic, right? Oh, no. um, and he's been searching so desperately for so many years for <laughs> someone to love him. For anyone to just to just treat him like he means something. Like he's needed. Um but he doesn't. Now, you know, we basically destroyed his career here on the kill. Why do you interrupt every time I'm giving a good answer? <laughs> because I'm the host, Milo. That's my <laughs> prerogative. I was about to just. Oh. That's my prerogative. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, you're right. It is. You can ruin your show if you want to. That is your right. Go ahead. What? I, no, it's never the same the second time. Fuck it. Let's move on. No, Are wait. You... Bake Alaska. Hold on. The, the only thing I was pointing out is to our, our you know, our audience. Actually, the reason the kill stream blew up is because we were covering Baked Alaska's meltdown in 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 real time uh, there in L.A. And I know he he made a bunch of accusations about you and and stuff like oh, that. I don't, I don't... Insane, insane stuff. So uh, poor little Ashton Birdie, you know Ashton. Uh... I do. Yeah. Yeah, uh, who was his girlfriend for a while, who's talking about how mental he went when she tried to break up with him, like just making up anything, anything, just just throwing stuff at the wall, seeing what will stick uh, to anyone who dares to to question him or to or to to call him out in public. And, and she did the ultimate sin, which was try to leave him because leave his crazy ass. Um, so, uh, look, there was a time at which if he'd been humble and if he'd got his addictive problems under control, that he perhaps could have made something of his life. But instead, he's chosen to just... He's like an, he's an Ian Miles Chong, but even more unstable, uh, if you can believe it. That is a tall bar. All right, one more caller. From ideology to ideology. Um, just immolate. If, if you're more wild than Ian Miles Chong, that's saying a lot, I, I, have, to, I have to say. Just burning remain dim shred of... Crib. I mean, look... Tim, Tim, Tim baked uh, has fifty people left who cares who who care what he he does, and all fifty of them are hate watching, you know. Uh, and, and he he genuinely doesn't know that. And the song, did you see the new song? As as he becomes Little Trump, more, is that what you're talking about? As he becomes more and more untouchable, no one will work with him, no one will film with him, no one will edit for him. So his music videos for his songs are getting worse and worse and worse as they're getting more and more home. Please give it to me. I haven't seen it. All right, two names. One, Nick Fuentes. I think Nick is a such a cheeky chappy. He's on, so he's on my show on Friday, uh, on the sixth of December. He's going to be on uh, Friday nights, all right. Now, where's that show aired? Freespeech.tv. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm getting, I'm getting best. With you. I'll get you there. You know, I'm the host. Go ahead. Under your tutelage, <laughs> I believe that I can get there. Yeah, um, you're the one. You learn under me. Go ahead. Can you hear me? Oh, yes, the Nick. Nick is an adorable cheeky chappy. He sometimes wanders over the line of my taste, but sure. um, he's the greatest asset that the insurgent populist right has now that the rest of us have been decapitated. Um, who knows if any of us will find our way back, uh, but uh, he's the greatest asset that they have. Now, 